Okay, so I just finished filming a video for um, this bracelet and the unboxing for Heidi, Heidi's uh, Artisan Beads, and I wasn't done because I kept saying throughout that one, like I'm getting so much inspiration, I just wanna keep going, but I didn't want that video to be a million years long. Um, and then I found this in my pendants from Heidi from, oh gosh, I don't even know, this might've been from 2020, and I'm thinking I wanna do a different bracelet with this one. I'm gonna make the hole bigger. And I'm gonna make a hole on the other side as well because I'm gonna turn it into a bracelet bar. So. Right here looks good. It's one of my favorite things about polymer clay. Before and after, it's just so, it baking, it's so easy to work with. Can't do that with ceramic even though ceramic is gorgeous. Okay, so, and I could also, I mean, I guess I could have made a hole here and a hole here so that the I could look at the um, seahorses like that, but I'm fine with it being sideways. So I'm gonna put my sand, or not sanding, my drilling tools away. And um, I wanted to use a mixture of these beads that um, I just used in the last video. Um, and maybe these, I don't know, these don't, I'm looking at these, they're pretty bright, but. I like them because they looked a lot like the um, barnacle bead. Huh, I still like it. All right. So I think what I'm going to do here is get some, the last video I used two, three, four ply. I think I'm going to get some two ply wax linen. I'll be right. right. So I have a bunch of colors. I didn't do a haul when I got these because I thought it would be pretty boring because I literally just got like a bunch of colors <laughs> of the two ply um, wax linen, but I can put in the description below where I got them. It's what's from some shop on Etsy. Um, and then I, I think I want to use all three of these colors. So I have walnut, and the way I'm storing these is I punched a hole at the top of the baggie and I hang it on my pegboard. Um, butterscotch, butterscotch and turquoise. And this is going to be a three strand bracelet. But you'll see why I want the two ply, it's much thinner. Um, because I want to put three strands through one hole and I didn't want to try that with the one ply. Or, I'm sorry, the four ply. I don't really need a lot of this as much as I need it on the other one. And you'll see why in just a moment. I'm just going to cut equal amounts of the walnut and the butterscotch. All right, and then you're gonna see how I'm gonna attach this. It's not going, I'm not doubling the thread like I have in the past because this isn't gonna be the button. So, sorry, my fingers are still dirty from the last video. Um, I'm gonna stick this, all three pieces through, so I kinda want them to line up a little bit. And the, the, other plus about using this wax linen is it's gonna be pretty gentle on your piece and I'm not worried about like chipping it but I also did drill in quite far um, so that I'm not worried about tripping or breaking that piece as well and I'm just gonna make a knot here probably a couple knots
There we go. I'm going to do one more just to lock that in. And as we discovered on my last video, <laughs> it's kind of hard to not wax linen. I literally never want to do it again. So measure twice, not once, I guess. Future Brittany. Okay, so we've got our knot there. I am going to decide on whether I want these guys to stay on there or not later. And then um, I am going to, so I mixed these up on the other bracelet, but they're not going to be mixed up on this one. And as you can see, I've um, made the same colors in strands that I have in the Mayukis. So I have the butterscotch color, the darker color, and the blue color. And I'm not going to um, I'm not going to co color coordinate the strings. I think the turquoise is going to go on the butterscotch. The cream is going to go on the walnut. And then the little bit darker one is going to go on the turquoise. All right, so I'm going to move all those down. And it's not, I'm not just doing one bead at a time. That would become a little bit much. Can I get those guys down there? Isn't that pretty? And then you could just knot here if you wanted, but um, I am going to do, actually, maybe I will just do one at a time. I'm gonna test this out and see how I like it. I'm gonna kind of swirl all of these together and put on a gold bead. Hopefully all three of these go through, they do. Well, I think I like that for right here, for right up against. I think I am going to cut these off because they're driving me nuts. <laughs> but um, let's see. Yeah, I like that right there, but I don't think I'm going to do just three beads between each gold bead going for the rest of the bracelet. So let's see. Go with it couple browns on here. Maybe three. could not like I said but this gold bead is gonna hold everything in place okay so I'm gonna repeat that for as long as I need it on one side and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and I'll come back when it's time to finish off the bracelet all right so here we go it's so 
pretty. Please ignore these. I think these are coming off. But I just can't believe how much fun this was. And it's so easy. Like, it's not... It looks super complicated, but it's not. And you can just have fun with it and choose, make it in any color you want as long as you have some seed beads. Even, like, smaller seed beads would work because this um, two-ply is thinner. So... I'm definitely going to be making more of these. It's so much fun. Um, I am a little annoyed because I went through my entire, every single clasp I have, every single one, and couldn't find a mermaid toggle. And I now think that while I thought I had a mermaid toggle, and maybe when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's really pretty, but it's too expensive. Past Brittany, I'm mad at you. You should have just bought it. I think maybe it was a dollar more than I wanted to pay for it. <laughs> Um, so I grabbed this toggle, but now that I'm thinking about it, I know I have like a mermaid button. I have a sand dollar button, shells. So, oh, I like this one. That's kind of nice. It's like more grungy than the others. I mean, I could grunge this up with some patina, but, um, I don't need like another focal. I think this goes really well with it. Um, I wasn't planning on using a button, but I think I actually really like this. So I just have to figure out how I want this to close. I think I'm gonna take, separate two and separate one. Just gonna tie a knot here a couple times. And that is attached love it looks fantastic oh my gosh looks so good and then this side I just have to make a closure for the button to go in all right I grabbed a brass ring and I am going to find the end of my bracelet I put three more beads on the side I'm gonna make a knot here going to do the same thing I did with the shell and not onto my ring One more. 
then I have some natural dark brown one millimeter leather matches qu pretty closely to the walnut that was in here and I'm just gonna cut off a piece and slip the loop make a loop um, by lining up the ends slip it through my little brass ring and knot right here and you can do another knot there if you'd like and then I'm gonna find my shell figure out how big that needs to be I would just measure it at the widest point of your shell and make a knot right there. You can put beads on here, but I think I'll be okay. I mean, beads along the part, the closure, not the ends. You can do whatever kind of knot you want there. Barrel knot, whatever works. Um, and then just making sure, because I can still loosen it at this point. It's not like the wax linen. Yeah, that fits through. I'm gonna grab, I don't know if this will fit through here. Yeah, that works. Pull that tight, you're more than welcome to add some uh, a dot of glue there. Do the same thing on the other end. And I might decide that I don't like this since it's too busy, but we'll see. Okay. I am gonna do, I'm just gonna snip here. I'm gonna tighten this a little bit. I'm gonna do one more knot just in case, and I'm gonna do it through a different threads because the blue and the dark brown were together before there we go and I will snip right here and we will snip by the button I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And then I am going to snip here. I decided I did not want frayed pieces by my focal, but if you would like that, definitely go for it. I'm so happy. This makes me so happy with all the frustration I had be between a couple different things on this bracelet and the last one. I'm super happy with the way they turned out and I won't remember that when I'm staring at it lovingly on my wrist later on 
and I probably will dab some some glue around here and my other notch just to reinforce them with some um, GS hypo cement but look at that isn't that fun not with what I expected but a hundred percent better than what I expected now I actually could kind of turn it into a charm bracelet too I had some from Sam's speed box this month I can't remember if I used them all though the charm that I got in that box is hidden at the moment so some buried somewhere on my desk so I found um, this one in my stash that's the bag it came in um, super cute I think it'll look really great on here. I got out a brass jump ring. It. If I wanted to, I could put another um, Heidi bead hanging from here, but I don't want to take away too much from my focal here. So thank you, Heidi, to the ins for the inspiration. Um, I still want to make another list to go with it. I'm sure I could make a hundred earrings too, but um, uh, I don't wear them. I mean, I wear I don't wear dangly earrings, so. I don't want to waste my precious beads on earring. <laughs> Not for this anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what your favorite part was. And uh, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. Trying to get more belly rubs, huh? Yeah. You trying to get more belly rubs. You were so cute. Yeah, you were such a cutie. Good morning. Good morning. You're such a good girl.